What up, players? Warbots tear up in this mud. And I finished my ninja man eater here. Check him out. I gave him a um, Japanese Yakuza tattoo just because I thought his arm, both of his arms looking just plain, um, was a little bit boring. And then I thought, you know, with all the world traveling that the man eaters do, embracing other cultures and stuff, I think this was a cute little nod to that. So it's a. Oh, sorry, so I can get a focus. So, dragon winding around, and it's got an orange mane, it's breathing orange fire, and then I was like, how else can I make it look Japanese y? So, I added in a flash of color with this yellow comb at the top looking thing, and then um, I saw some other examples where they use reds and yellows, so I made like little blossoms on the back. So, yeah. Apart from that, I pretty much um, used my normal painting um, palette for painting ogres. For, for painting his scars, you might notice that they're kind of glistening, like they're still fresh. And um, the way I painted that was I first painted in Leviathan purple, and then ball red, and then I actually painted into the scars um, scab red and dark flesh. And then I painted a thin line of gloss varnish on the inside to make them gleam and glisten like that. So it's pretty gross, but let's see if I can, uh, if I put him down for a second, if I can get a good close up on him. Ooh, gross. You can also see that mold line that I'm not gonna get out because it's, it's right next to that um, little, little rivet there. So I kind of put it off and in the end, I'm just like, you know what, I'm just gonna leave it. Uh, I'm not gonna put this guy into any painting competitions or anything. I just wanted to paint him up as well as I could. This is little Yakuza tattoo. First, I was thinking I'd do both arms, but then um, I I think the 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 gray brown of the background, which I used carrot and granite for, would mix in too much with the rest of his his little outfit. So. So I'm just gonna keep it as one for now. If I get any feedback that, oh, dude, you should do a like a like a devil on the other side and make it look like they're fighting or something. If I get any good suggestions, then I'll think about doing the tattoo for the other side. But I think it looks okay. Um, yeah. So there he is. I decided to make him blonde, like uh, an American ninja. Of I don't even know if the American ninja was blonde from that old movie, but I think it's funny that you know he's got dark. A dark outfit and uh, he's tatting himself up he's really trying to immerse himself in this Nippon culture but then he's a natural blonde um, so I think that's pretty funny and fluffy so I hope you like him and um, I hope you're enjoying the progress I'm making with these ogres check out my blog spot warbosstay.blogspot.com and um, I'm also posting these guys over at the ogre stronghold so you can see them over there and oh man those gashes look pretty good from this lighting angle. Gross. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.